We'd like to introduce the new volume activation experience in Microsoft Office 2010 client products. We'll go over the reasons we are making these changes and show you how simple volume activation is. Volume customers had a single key per product for all users within the organization for earlier versions of Microsoft Office. These products did not require activation. However, this process increased the risk of deploying counterfeit software. And as you know, counterfeit versions of software can host malware, viruses, and other security risks. The new volume activation method in Office 2010 supports you to have a genuine version of the product, reducing the possibility of these security risks. Built using the same tools and services in Windows 7 and Windows Vista, the process consists of two basic steps, entering the product key at your end and activating the software. Activation is not an enforcement tool for license compliance. Microsoft does not use any activation information to identify or contact the user. Volume license customers have two easy methods to activate Office 2010 client products. First, there's KMS, or Key Management Service. This solution is ideal for PCs that are usually connected to the company network because it eliminates the need for each PC to connect to Microsoft activation servers. Then, there's Multiple Activation Key, or MAC. MAC is perfect for organizations that need to offer more flexibility to their users. Many organizations will use both methods. The licensing and activation process works differently for each, so let's talk about them a little bit more. With KMS, organizations can activate PCs locally within a managed environment, rather than connecting to Microsoft individually. Here's how it works. Each organization using KMS is issued a key that is installed on an internal KMS host. You can host KMS using your existing volume editions of Windows 7, Windows Server 2008 R2, or Windows Server 2003. The KMS host is activated once the host key is validated with Microsoft. The KMS host automatically publishes its existence on the DNS server. Once the host is set up, KMS clients will automatically look for the KMS host on DNS and activate themselves against the KMS host. Each KMS client then connects to the KMS host to activate. A minimum of five clients need to connect with the KMS host before KMS clients become activated. Keep in mind that with KMS, you can activate thousands of clients at the same time. With KMS, the process is completely transparent to end users and is very simple for system administrators to manage. Now, let's go over MAC, which is a little different than KMS. MAC activation is the best option for users who cannot connect to the company network at least once in every 180 days. Each MAC volume license comes with a predetermined number of allowed activations. There are two ways to activate using MAC. The first method is independent activation, which means that each computer independently is activated with Microsoft either over the internet or by telephone. A MAC product key is installed on a client computer or embedded in the system image on the client. Each client then activates with Microsoft. The second option to activate MAC is by proxy using Volume Activation Management Tool 2.0 or VAMPT. VAMPT is a centralized activation request on behalf of multiple computers with one connection to Microsoft. In MAC proxy activation, VAMPT installs a product key on a client computer, obtains the installation ID from the target computer, sends the ID to Microsoft on behalf of the client, and obtains a confirmation ID. Then the tool activates the client by installing the confirmation ID. Note that VAMPT also supports Mac independent activation by triggering activation on computers with Mac keys installed. 
MAC activation is required only once for each PC client. Once it has been activated, it does not need to be activated again, although significant hardware changes could require reactivation. You can add more activations to your MAC license with a simple email to Microsoft. Office 2010 client products must be activated within 30 days of installation. If they are not activated, users will get a series of notifications. Furthermore, in the case of KMS, computers will automatically reactivate with the KMS host at least once in every 180 days. Unactivated machines have 24 days of use before prompts start to appear. From day 25 to 30, you'll get pop-up notifications asking you to activate. After 30 days, unactivated PCs will display an unlicensed notification whenever an Office application is launched. Activation is designed to protect you against counterfeit software, and we've worked hard to make the process as seamless and easy as possible.